Hello everyone, welcome. In this video, we'll learn the proper way to call a function from an event trigger. There are various ways to invoke a function in React. Let me show you how to call a function both with and without arguments. To demonstrate, I'll add a button, and when the button is clicked, it will call a function. This method is called an inline function call. Just to show you, I'll define this function with a console.log in it. This function will be executed only when the event is triggered, in our case, when the button is clicked. As you can see, the function is triggered when the button is clicked. If we have arguments to pass, adding parentheses means the function won't be called on the event, but will execute every time the component re-renders. Let me show you what happens when we add parentheses here. As you can see, the function is executed during the component's render. Even if we try to pass an argument to the function, it still won't work. Let me try this out. The number is logged on the initial render, but the function doesn't get executed when the button is clicked. As I mentioned, this function will also be re-executed whenever the component re-renders. I'll create a state to better illustrate this. I'll update the state inside the function. As you know, changing the state causes the component to re-render, which means the function will keep executing infinitely, leading to an error. You can see in the console that the function ran several times before an error occurred. So, this is definitely not the correct way to call a function with arguments. To pass arguments to the function, we can use arrow functions like this. This will now work, the function is triggered only on button click, and the number gets logged as well. This will still work even if no arguments are passed. If there are no arguments passed, it's better to go with this approach since it directly references the function. On the other hand, the second approach we discussed, which involves arguments, creates an intermediary function to invoke the actual function. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching.